Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at this uh, Carl Edwards 2010 Homestead Raced version. This is one of, let's take a look at our box quantity here. Oops, wrong side, that side here. One of 385 ARC, so a very low number. There are some elite, but yeah, overall pretty small number. So uh, here you can see a, a picture of the car there. You can see that it's got the big... Uh, windshield banner there. You can see it's got Aflac. We got raced version. Cobalt Tools 500, November 14th, 2010. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll or scroll. Let's go ahead and look over here. Carl Edwards, Rosh Fenway Racing. Uh, and then it's the Rosh Fenway Racing box, so nothing crazy there. And this is the 2010, which means it has a splitter, but it also has a wing. So let's go ahead and start here and get into what it comes with. It comes with two things. One of them here is this race victory lane pin, Phoenix. Phoenix? What is it Homestead? Oh, I guess it's a Phoenix win. My bad. Sorry, guys. It's a Phoenix win. So this is a Phoenix win. What the? It's a, is it a Subway 500? Now I gotta look again. Oh, wait, it was on the winner card. My bad. So anyway, there you see. Phoenix, 11-13-2010. Uh, I thought the thing said 14. Let's see what it says. Here's our win card. Uh, Avondale, Arizona, 2 hours, 49 minutes. Total laps, 267. Yep, it is a Cobalt Tools. So Cobalt Tools 500, November 14th, 2010. I don't know if this was another one of them rainouts because the pin says the 13th, but the card says the 14th. So got a little discrepancy there. We'll have to argue with. Uh, he led 93 laps, total of 400 miles. Okay, now I'm even more confused. 400 miles, and it's the Cobalt Tools 500. This this is a problem. I'm not okay with this. Too many errors. <laughs> uh, five cautions, 25 laps, and it was his 17th career win, so... Let's go ahead and take a look at the car here. Uh, we'll do that next. So this car has actually got some pretty unique and pretty cool details to it. We'll start by getting right up close to it here on the left side. Uh, you can see here we've got the green and black Aflac paint scheme here. Uh, probably one of my favorite paint schemes for Carl Edwards. As you can see when we go down the left side here. Um, okay, that's just paint. Uh, but you can see a little bit of dirt and stuff. you got the skirt down there. You can see the Aflac duck. Feathers are all over this car. Um, not sure if that was just a confetti type they did or what. You can see there's just little feathers kind of positioned around the car. Uh, you can see the, uh, the windshield banner there or the sun visor that they kind of put in. Uh, you can see we got Aflac here. We got Kellogg's, Cheez It, Gillette Young Guns. There's the duck. And then you can see the feathers on the tire. Um, also have Aflac and Carl Edwards up there on the rails. Uh, and then you got our 99 here with the green wing coming in from the back. As you get to the back of the car, you can see we've got, um, there we go, we've got you under our wing, Aflac, and then you can see all the dirt streaking down the back bumper of this car, which I, I didn't think it actually looks pretty good. So you can see all the dirt on that back bumper. Got Aflac on the rear deck lid. Din number is 83. Go ahead and pop open the trunk, and you can see our fuel cell in the back there. It is a little tough to see. I can open it as wide as I can. But it's still pretty tough to see. But our fuel cell is in the back there. There you see the uh, the feathers kind of all around the back of the car. Roof flaps do um, pop open up here. So you can see those open right there. As we move around to the right side, you can see he got into the wall right here uh, from basically this spot here on back. There's a little streak. Uh, you can see the duck again. Kellogg's cheese and young guns. Nothing crazy there. Tailpipes there. And then you can see a little piece of tape there. I'm not sure what that one's for. We got our number 99, a little bit of rubber buildup just kind of along the door here. As you get down around to the right, or to the, yeah, to the right front, you can see a little bit of stuff on the very right front corner. Doesn't look like he got the wall, though. It looks like he just kind of caught it with the rear of the car. Uh, you can see we got a green splitter down below here with the silver spokes. And there you see the grill opening there with those two pieces of orange tape on either side. Got our 2010 Ford Fusion headlights, which is the longer headlight versus the short little one. Um, I don't know if they had that in 2009. I don't actually have any 2009 Fusions, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong, but I don't think I do. Uh, under the hood, you can see we've got our blue en uh, engine block with the silver valve covers, gold alternator, some belts, coolant line. Uh, you can see some plug wires. We got plenty of good detail in there. Uh, the COT always had good detail. I always didn't care for the hood hinges, but, you know, they are what they are. Uh, but you see, yeah, as I said, we do have our sun visor underneath, though. Uh, no movement in the rear suspension, just one solid axle. And then you can see we do have the poseable wheels up front, along with the transmission exhaust, all that 
fun junk. Um, but overall, it's a it's a very clean raced version in terms of like damage, donuts, rings, scrapes, stuff like that. There's a little bit on the right side. It does have this dirt on the back, which I do think is cool. I think that helps the detail when you have a spot like this on the back of the car that is so well, you know, so detailed. Um, but as I said, you go to the right side pretty darn clean outside of this little wall scrape so you do get a little something but definitely um not the most raced version by any stretch of the imagination there so uh anyway that is pretty much going to wrap up this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below turn on the bell subscribe all that fun jazz uh, check out a video over on the other channel I have uploaded today. Um, it was mostly a reaction to some Liberty University information, so check it out over there. Other than that, though, this has been Race Grace. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you in the next Diecast Review.